Well. Yeah, oh, that's a nail. Right where it hurts for Stephen Bunting. And that's a little bit of tension in the arm that's drifting those darts into the five. Well, Stephen Bunting started so well. He was 122. So disappointed to find himself 3 1 down. Van Gerwen, you just get the feeling. 100. He's in the slot. Well, those missed doubles have brought his average down to just under 106. His scoring power is still there. 114. Unlucky. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen has yet to register a 180. But certainly, the 719s have come to his aid on many of occasion already. He's only played four legs. Big leg has to win this. 96. Really does. Can't afford to go two breaks of throw down against Michael Van Gerwen. But a little frustration there. All around the ball. Chasing trebles. That's a rare visit in this quarter final so far for Michael Van Gerwen without a treble. Well, Bunting needs to stop the rock. And it looks like he's going to do that right now. He's going to get two darts at a double. And he's only one break of throw down. One hundred and twenty-one. Brilliant to nineteen to get. Stephen, you're going forty-one. Cannot afford to miss. Now, is, is that awkward? Oh, and great dive from Bunting. Stays alive. Back here with leads. Three-two. One hundred and forty. Oh, Bunting still the break of throw down, so he's going to have to find, you, you would feel a 12 dart leg. You can't see Mike throwing many 59. more darts well, than 15, especially on his throat. Yeah, absolutely agree. Head to head, Michael Van Gerwen. 96. 8-2 in the Dutchman's favour. Stephen Bunting actually beat Michael Van Gerwen a decade ago in the World Masters when they were both playing in the BDO. He needs more yeah. darts like that. And he needs them against the throw. A third 180 for Stephen Bunting. Well, he hit 180s back, back to back again. in the first leg. And he needs another one now. 140 may get him a dart at the bullseye, but the 180 really puts the pressure on. This is 180s back to back. And the rush of that dart should have taken his time. That really has cost him. Uh, ball, ball, double six, nine. That five still, he rushed it. I mean, it, it could have cost him a dart at the bullseye. Well, he's looking at one, three, seven. Can't finish now. Van Gerwen returns. Van Gerwen has won the last six matches between the pair. And he goes to the front here. Michael Van Gerwen. Seven legs, Stephen to drill first. When you're playing Michael Van Gerwen. It is the odd dart in each leg that's going to cost you. It'll either cost you the whole leg or cost you a dart, it, whatever it is. But that five, I mean, it looked plum for another, at least a 20, maybe a treble 20 that puts the pressure on. But when you go and hit the five, you leave one, three, seven, you're only going to take out one in ten if you're lucky on them sort of checkouts. So, one, one mistake that could have cost bunting. Dimension Van Gerwen, four World Series titles, losing in two other finals in Sydney and Perth to Phil Taylor. Bunting here, chasing another maximum. 125. Again, a dart into the five. Will this be his first? 140. Oh, the, crucial, the crucial difference in the scoring, Bunting has hit three 180s. Michael Van Gerwen hasn't hit one, but the crucial difference is... Uh, Van Gerwen, eight scores of 140 or more, including a 171 and 177, bunting only two. And that has proved very, very important. 77. That's without two or three, one, three, fours that he's hit. So now that looks good for another one. Yeah, big 16. Big 16, yeah. Well, well he's got to hope that Van Gerwen, and the 144 is not a bad checkout, especially if the first start is plum in that treble 20, which it is, and so's that, double 12. 120. 
Well, Uwaya hit a wire of double 12 for a 1 4 4. Bunting, gotta get this. That was a long way off. That was a Stays alive. Just one Bunting. break of throw by Gary Leeds. 4 3. And he's in a hurry. This has been played at a terrific 43. pace. Now, this is the chance that Bunting. Can he seize the moment? 43 for Van Gerwen, and I think he rushed there. After, he was so disappointed that he missed the 144. Bunting takes the leg, and Michael there was throwing at the start 57. of this eighth leg before the referee Paul Higgs had actually said game on. But that's a chance missed. You're not going to get too many chances the way Van Gerwen's playing at the moment. And when he kicks off with a bad score. You have got to come in with a 140. Now, can he find a 180? Take your time, don't rush it. Oh, but he did rush it, and he found it. Nailed it. Now, this against the throw. 96. Advantage, Stephen Bunting in this eighth leg. 4 180s. Van Gerwen yet to hit one. But Van Gerwen's scoring has still been terrific. Oh. Bunting on a possible 11 darter against the throw to level up this quarter final. Stephen, you well, he's going to get six starts realistically on the 84. Uh, 69, now double six. Oh, just on the outside. Well, on the 144, Van Gerwen hit two treble 20s. Kenny on the 170. Oh, and he's just missed. Now, Stephen Bunton has been Stephen sliding Rupert the odd darts oh. to the left. Yep. Doesn't want to slide. It wants to just put it on the outside of the wire. It's not going to go in and then use it as a guide. What a big dart this is. Yeah, what a big man. dart that is Stephen for the big man from St Helens. Last dart in hands. Van Gerwen was Peter. waiting to pounce. 105 average Van Gerwen, 101 Bunton. Can't split them four apiece. It's advantage bunting again. Because he would have the darts if we go to a decider. 60. Only 60. Well, last night when he played the qualifier, he broke the throw and then threw an 11 dart leg. What? Totally took 25. his opponent out of the equation. And this is what he's got to do now. He must not let Van Gogh back in. He works so hard. Two 180s back to back. That's the second time he's happened. First leg and the eighth. And another what? maximum. Six maximums for Stephen Bunting, and unbelievably, none, or is it one for Michael Van Gerwen? What a start to the evening. Incredible. What a game. They are... They're piggybacking wow. each other, aren't they? The better one plays, the better the other plays. They're just following each other to... Blow for blow, dart for dart. 89, Stephen Rupert, 161. And 161. Reminding you, first to eight for a place in the semi finals. Well, we just knew that the, the players were going to step up this evening. 57, Michael They're Rupert, able to get a little bit of aggression against each other. Double 18 now for a break Seven and throw. Another Seven chance gone begging for. To hold on to his throat. Surely, oh. it, surely it's going to be the treble 20. Well, treble 16 for double 18, and Bunting will be disappointed not to get a dart and a double from this combination. Michael McCormick, 36. This for an immediate break of throw. Crucial dart after Stephen Bunting hit his sixth 180. Van Gerwen hit back brilliantly. Hit the 180 to put the pressure on straight away. Well, he did, Stu. I mean, he played absolutely brilliant in the previous leg. Two 180s back to back and broke the throw. Then he had the advantage, and that's where you've got to then throw another exceptional leg. We've known what Van Gerwen has done for the last two to three years. And especially the way he's played this year, you know he's not going to throw bad darts for more than half a leg. So it is now game on for Stephen Bunting. Well, Bunting here is, is playing exceptionally well. He rates his victory over Phil Taylor at the European Championship last 55. year as the best of his career in terms of performance. 
80. Well, he should come down. 136, he's looking forward to leave the 170. And again, the dart slides to the left of the target. 127, Michael Carlos. So six darts from 158 to get that two leg advantage. And that's Van Gerwen who finds a five. Well, the treble 19 has been so good to him. To leave double 18 again after 12. Michael Van Gerwen averaging 106. Stephen Bunting averaging 101. 54. Well, he hasn't missed the 36 on a visit. Well, that's a perfect guide. Yeah. And there it is, second dart again for Van Gogh. 6 4, Van Gogh with leads. What a match this has been. One and 40. Now, Bunting was playing superbly. He's forcing Van Gerwen. To play even better, and again, 119. Now can you believe that Van Gerwen has only hit one maximum? Six for Stephen Bunting, and he finds himself six four down. It's just a few of those shots in between. There's that little bit of consistency, and this man Van Gerwen, he's so confident. 100. One hundred. Well, Stephen Bunny's going to get six darts to get within one leg, but he's still one breaker throw down. Well, he's going to set it up absolutely perfectly. And now, one hundred and thirty-five. That's okay. Gets two darts when he returns. 22 treble 19s already. 65. From Michael Van Gerwen in this quarterfinal. Bunting to stay in it. To hold his throw with this 11th leg. Well done. Stephen Bunting, 12 points Michael the first. He won. 100. Make or break leg for Stephen Bunting. 100. Needs to find. That 12 dart and needs to find another leg where he can hit 180s back to back. And we've 26. seen that slide into the fives. And the frustration with the third dart. And again, 137. That magnetic treble 19 bed. Brilliant from Van Gerwen. Stephen Bunting and Van Gerwen met. The biggest game since Bunting came over in the World Grand Prix semi-finals in Dublin back end of last year. Van Gerwen was the convincing One winner, hundred. four sets to nil, and as I mentioned, the Dutchman has won the last six games against Stephen Bunting. One hundred and forty. Well, another one forty, the tenth in total for Van Gerwen, and he's going to get six darts from 1-2-4 to go one leg away from a semi-final place. Michael Don't forget, folks, the Japan Masters will play to a conclusion, so he's bullseye for Van Gerwen. That's the frame of mind that Van Gerwen's in. And still, I'm just going to mention that the winner's going to have to play three games, obviously the runner-up as well. And yeah. Van Gerwen has done it so many times. Yeah. To play three games in one evening of such... of high stakes, how about that for high scoring? Is he going to follow it up? Of course he is! 180 Bunting, 180 Van Gerwen. Well, what a start this would be if one of these players can hit the nine data. And it's gone from Stephen Bunting, but he needs a treble on the visit. 93. Grabs the treble 18, so Michael Van Gerwen. There's the one. There's number two. Oh, oh we're on, Stu. We're on. And it's, it's actually a better shot. The 144 is far better than the 121. The 141, because wow. if he gets the first dart in the treble, it's a perfect guide to find another one. 58. My well, this is to win the match as well. 144. Oh, it'll be 
disappointed. He wants that $50,000 bonus for hitting a nine data. It's all about winning the match. To stay in it, you feel. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen averaging 108.63. Sixty. An astonishing performance. 50. This to round it off. Double sixteen for Michael Van Gerwen. It's awkward. It's had to move across the hockey. That's why. So two Stephen match starts. A chance for Stephen Bunting. Although it's to hold the throw, he was thinking he was going to be walking off the stage at this moment, and he's going to get a dart at it. It's going to be double sixteen to stay in this match. And oh, slides it. On the outside of the target. You can't see Van Gerwen missing here. Yeah, the Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen! The dream of winning another World Series title very much alive. But what a match, what a performance from Stephen Bunting. But the world number one with an average of 106 goes through to the semi finals. What a start to the night here in Yokohama, Van Gerwen will play the winner of our next game, either Peter Wright or Jackpot, Adrian Lewis. What a great game that was. Michael Van Gerwen, though, well, he's in a destructive frame of mind, as we've seen so often in the past. Uh, you must be delighted with that. That's a, that's a great opening gambit, isn't it? Yeah, especially when, uh, when Steve is playing that well. It's uh, amazing to start off and kick off like that. He started off straight with a 10 now, I was thinking. He's, <laughs> a, he's in right form, and actually he was. Look at 180 C through, and uh, things like that. My average through, through the game was fantastic, and I didn't miss anything. And I just needed to do what I did, yeah, what I had to. And even my triple twenties ran good tonight, but I still had my triple nineteen, so it's a good cover. And uh, I used that one, and I feel comfortable. And I hope I can show everyone a lot more over here. Yeah, you were seeing the treble nineteen so big all the way through, but you know you scored eleven one forties, and your average never never sort of got anywhere between bad boys one hundred five, one ten, one fifteen at times. That's you at your very best, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I can do, and I didn't even feel that comfortable. I, I know I can do a lot more than what I just showed, and that's something to prepare now for the next game because I'm going to play, uh, uh, I think Adrian or uh, Peter. Peter White. So it's going to be a fantastic game. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. This is the first Japan Darts Masters, and I want to win that. Same Mike, as the Dubai Darts Masters. Yeah. I want to be the first. You want to win it, absolutely. Congratulations. Go and get yourself in an ice bath. You You've got a Thank couple you. of hours off. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the rest of the darts. Well done, Mike. All right, so Michael Van Gogh our first and very, very worthy winner in an absolutely fantastic opener. Next up, it's Peter Wright against Adrian Lewis. And then how about Phil Taylor against Raymond Van Barneveld, that old classic chestnut, and James Wade against Gary Anderson.